Wakaf. Literally wakaf means to stop, contain, or to preserve. In Sharia, a wakaf is a voluntary, permanent, irrevocable dedication of a portion of one wealth in cash or kind to Allah. Once a wakaf, it never gets gifted, inherited, or sold. It belongs to Allah and the corpus of the wakaf always remain intact. The fruits of the wakaf may be utilized for any sharia compliant purpose. The income that we generate from these properties is used for the education and social development of the community and this includes the provision of medicine to the poor and needy regardless of race or religion. We have properties with a value of about 250 million Singapore. Wakaf, the endowment, is a key Islamic institution which has incorporated within its legal sphere vast areas of land within the Muslim world. It is a legal mechanism that has been recognized and developed the Islamic law Sharia for more than a millennium. Under the Islamic legal endowment, Wakaf and the owner permanently settled property is user fraud or income to the use of beneficiaries for specific purpose. At its heart, the Islamic endowment is connected firmly with the religious precept of charity. Modern reform in several Muslim countries have abolished, nationalized, or highly regulated endowment, Awqaf. The eclipse of the endowment has left a vacuum in the arena of public services, which the state has been unable to fill easily in many Muslim countries. However, most of the idea of the endowment and the endowment doctrine itself remain influential and there are clear signs of its reinvigoration. The endowment serves and continues to serve as an instrument of public policy and impact on all aspects of Muslim life including access to land and evolution of any future role for the Islamic endowment in strategies to improve security of tenure is built upon an appreciation of its legal foundation, history, and socio-economic impact. The Quran contains no specific reference to the endowment and its legal parameters have been developed through centuries by jurists. It is inspired from reputation an emphasis upon charity within Islam as an act of devotion to God. In the Holy Quran, Allah has said about Waqaf in Surah Al-Baqarah verses 261 
in Surah Ali Imran, verse 92. مثل الذين ينفقون أموالهم في سبيل الله كمثل حبة أنبتت سبع سنابل في كل سنبلة مئة حبة والله يضاعف لمن يشاء والله واسع عليم لن تنالوا البر حتى تنفقوا مما تحبون وما تنفقوا من شيء فإن الله به عليم Never will you attain the good reward until you spend in the way of Allah from that which you love and whatever you spend, indeed Allah is knowing of it. If you look from the past at the time of the Prophet Muhammad wasallam, endowment has been done by the companion of the Prophet by some of the riwayat from Hadith. Let me give you a few examples. When the Prophet wasallam migrated from Mecca to Medina, he created Masjid al quba that was the first mosque that was built. That is considered a religious endowment. It was a public interest good that everybody benefited from. A much more clearer example would be that of wells. Water was very expensive in Medina and the new migrants found it very difficult to buy water in Medina, drinking water. So Prophet ﷺ suggested that somebody should buy the well and then endow it so that poor people can get water free. So Usman radiallahu anhu bought the well in Medina and then endowed it for all the citizens of Medina, both the Ansar and the Mahajir, then drank from there freely. These are some examples of welfare that were early established. There is another case where uh, Hazrat Umar radiallahu anhu came to Prophet sallallahu and said, I have a farm in the city of Khaybar, uh, a date farm, what should I do with it? So the Prophet sallallahu said, why don't you endow it? And the way the endowment was done was that the land was not endowed, only the fruits or the profit from the investment were endowed uh, and people in that city, uh, both rich and poor and Muslims and non-Muslims benefited from the charity which was endowed uh, by Sayyidina Umar. And the Prophet ﷺ himself, who inherited a lot of wealth from Rabbi Mukhairik, who when he died left his entire wealth for Prophet ﷺ, he endowed the entire date farms. Uh, but what was interesting was the way he constructed the endowment was he left some income for his personal family and the rest for public interest. Below of Waqaf, the first one is Al Waqif, means Waqaf giver. The second one is Al Mawqof, means Waqaf poverty. The third one is Al Mawqof Alay, means Waqaf recipient. And the last one is Sirah, means offer or acceptance of Waqaf. Condition of Waqaf The general condition of Waqaf must be the purpose of Waqaf must be legitimate. It must be an act of charity from the point of view of Sharia. Hence, Waqaf for the wealthy alone is not permissible because it is not a form of charity. And now we are look the condition of Waqaf with more specifically. The first one is condition of property. The wealth to be declared must be physically tangible item such as a house or plot of land. The donor must legally own the declared wealth or property and it must be able to benefit the community and transferable. And the property must have permanent visibility and the use of the property must be governed by Islamic law. The second one is condition for contracting parties. The waqif should be legally fit and capable to give waqaf, a child. An insane or a person who does not own the property cannot make waqaf. The beneficiaries, means al-mawkuf alayh, must be alive. Waqaf 
for the disease is not permissible. The third one is condition for sirah. Akad is understandable word or writing for any purpose of wakaf, whether general wakaf or specific wakaf. It is compulsory to validate the wakaf. The statement of akad have two types. The first one is explicit statement, means lafaz sareh, a clear statement that entail one is that meaning only like I give my house to be wakaf for the poor people. The second one is implicit statement, means lafaz kinaya, a statement that has been more than one meaning like my property is a charity means sadaqa to the poor people. Wakaf have three types. The first one is wakaf dini, a religious wakaf. The example of wakaf dini is mosques and real estates confined for providing revenues to spend on mosques, maintenance and running expenses. The second one is wakaf khairi, a philanthropic wakaf. A dedication in perpetuity of the capital and income of an asset recognized by Islamic law for philanthropic causes even if it subsequently is dedicated to specific people. And the third one is Wakaf Zuri, mean posterity or family Wakaf. The Wakaf Zuri is dedicating one asset as approved by Sharia in favor of one own and one's children and subsequently dedicating it to philanthropic causes. In historical perspective, Wakaf is an institution whereby the provided the earned property corpus is endowed for a charitable purpose in perpetuity and the revenue generated is spent for that purpose. Stands out as one of the major achievements of Islamic civilization. All over the vast Islamic world, from the Atlantic to the Pacific, magnificent work of architecture as well as myriad of service vitally important for the society have been financed and maintained for centuries through this system. The resilience of this system is indeed remarkable. It has been shown that many Aukov have survived for considerably longer than half a millennium and some even for more than a millennium. Endowment to educational institution play a major role as the biggest example in the existence of educational institution like the University of Oxford and the University of Cambridge in the United Kingdom, Harvard University in the United States and Al-Azhar University in Egypt, also many other universities in the world that is under the endowment. The Harvard University in the United States has the largest endowment in the world, nearly $32.7 billion a year, based on US news statistics in 2013. While the Oxford University has the larger annual income and operating budget over 2.9 billion euro, the endowment is managed by the Oxford University Endowment Management formed in 2007. Islamic endowment group cover huge areas, mounting to about one-third of the Islamic Ottoman Empire and a substantial part of Muslim land elsewhere. Endowment was a key public institution within Islam and the cities under Ottoman rule and is still open until today. The Ottoman rulers saw themselves as primarily responsible for security, 
certificate and the scholarship and the endowment was the crucial recipient of welfare support for ordinary people. Whether the endowment served to deliver the quality of service or whether it was a preferable provider in the past has been debated. But its revival has implication for future development. صلى الله عليه وسلم إذا مات ابن آدم انقطع عمله إلا من ثلاث صدقة جارية أو علم ينتفع به أو ولد صالح يدعو له رواه مسلم Wakaf embodies Islamic philanthropy and charity in Islam for one to increase his good deeds or tawab and investment for the good of his hereafter. Wakaf benefit Muslim from all world of life. It is financial system to the poor and the needy. It provides life for those who seek. It empowers the young with education. It is hope.